Welcome back to The Rhyme Report. I am your host, Adam Dash, and this is what happened this week in hip-hop. This week, it was announced that the GOAT himself, Marshall Mathers, Eminem, is coming back with a new album called The Death of Slim Shady. So a big congrats to Christopher Reeves' family, who only has to endure like three more wheelchair bars, then you guys are good for life. The album is set to feature production from longtime friend and fellow GOAT, Dr. Dre. But M, for God's sake, your touring DJ for the last 10 years has been the alchemist. Just make like one or 15 songs with him. Tupac's family this week threatened Drake with a lawsuit for using his voice without approval on Drake's tailor-made freestyle, which is the same family that approved this. And I still stand by that this was a very funny and creative way to go about a diss. So now we just patiently await Kendrick's response that might be coming in a song, but also might be coming in a full album in May. Drake later in the week posted a picture with a Compton Community College shirt on. So now I just need Kendrick to return with a Degrassi crew neck that has holes in the back and bloodstains like it's the Kent State sweatshirt that Urban Outfitters was selling. Pusha T announced in a new Complex article this week that he expects to drop a new solo or Eclipse album this year. And with Drake already going the B-Rabbit 8 Mile route with saying all the disses his opponents are going to say already, I'm just waiting for him to say, this guy's a gangster, his real name's Terrence. And huge news for guys who wear Birkenstocks and have Juice World as their favorite artists ever, as Cole Bennett and Lyrical Lemonade are hosting their own festival in Chicago this summer, headlined by Cactus Jack, Playboy Cardi, maybe, and Chief Keef doing his first show in Chicago in over a decade. Years ago, Chief Keef tried doing a Stop the Violence concert with him as a hologram, and the city of Chicago still said no, which has to be the biggest hater shit I've seen in Chicago since Jerry Krause told Phil Jackson, I don't care if you go undefeated and win the championship this year, you are not coaching next year. This week was a huge week for dudes dropping with Bell's Palsy as Joel B dropped 50 on the Knicks, and Conway the Machine just announced the release date for his new album, SFK, dropping May 10th. And I wrote this before what's happened in the Knicks game, so... Hopefully Conway doesn't flop the way Joel Embiid did in that fourth quarter. Kid Cudi unfortunately just canceled his insane notour that was set to feature Pusha T, Jaden Smith, and Earth Gang as the openers after sadly jumping off the Coachella stage and breaking his ankle and then being carried off like Paul Pierce after the poop game. And who knows, if Mr. Rager was rocking the Metro Boomin or Alchemist KD-17s, maybe he wouldn't have gotten swept off his feet. Okay, maybe he was getting swept no matter what. Rihanna just said in an interview that her new album is going to be amazing. Meanwhile, ASAP Rocky is dropping merch for an album that he said was going to drop last August. But that's okay, Rocky. You drop when you feel like it. Ice Spice just dropped a fire new remix for Cash Cobain's hit song, Fisher, and something about that damn old line, man. I can't do it. It's, it's not for me. I'm my Tommy Richmond is set to make his Billboard Hot 100 debut with his new amazing song, Million Dollar Baby. And honestly, this song makes me feel so cool. It's doing what therapy has been trying to do for me for five years. And in very exciting news, one of the best hip-hop groups of all time, a tribe called Quest, just got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So shout out to them. Midnight Marauders, one of the best albums ever. They got one of the best discographies ever. So this was well-deserved. I now want to use this part of the show to shout out some amazing artists who dropped this past week. So if you are dropping soon, please put me on. Nascent just dropped this amazing new album, Don't Grow Up Too Soon. I think this might have just became my album of the year. Run Me Back My Bread with Childish Major and Sailor. Crazy song. Highly suggest this one. Marlon Kraft has dropped his new song, Gold Teeth. And honestly, every single thing Marlon says comes up in my therapy sessions. And I think he has something inside my mind that he knows. But go bump this song. It's amazing. Mike Quill, Geogenesis, and Morgan Gold just dropped an amazing new track called Catharsis. Mike is a goddamn poet, and the song is amazing. Please, please, please give it a listen. YK My Name just dropped a new really dope project called the Dirty Nike ZP. He produces every song on there. It's featuring Andrew Kelly, Kieran the Nomad, Reed Starks, Bluff, and the song with Bluff's incredible. So go bump that. Seth Such just dropped his See You Soon EP. This one's got fucking vibes on it. The music videos have been sick, so shout out to Seth. And lastly, Taylor Contarino, shout out South Jersey, just dropped her new Bare Minimum EP and Taylor did so much amazing shit for the music industry. So it was so cool to see her come out with this EP. Awesome rollout. So go listen to that too. And that's what happened this week in hip hop.